pleasure and in fact privilege to welcome you all today to our Nuclear New Build 2015 conference. We've got to remind ourselves that what we're doing is, is really, really important. Okay, it's really important to the fabric of society. Your industry is absolutely key to delivering our vision of the clean, affordable, safe and reliable energy British consumers and businesses need. And it's vital to keeping the lights on in the decades ahead. The UK, I believe, today now stands on the brink of a major and a significant programme of nuclear new build. The nuclear programme represents a tremendous opportunity to establish the UK as a key nuclear country with, importantly, the potential to export our capabilities to other countries. Is the industry at large investing enough in people right now? I would say no. Infrastructure investment isn't an end in itself. It's a means to an end. And that subtlety sometimes gets lost in the debate. It's a means to a more competitive, productive, and well-balanced economy. This country has benefited from nuclear as a source of power uh, for the last 60 years. And that 3% number in 2023 is something that should give us all uh, cause for, uh, for action. We now need to encourage other companies that are already in the nuclear supply chain to look at the Fit for Nuclear programme and see if they want to engage with the partnership. We really need a balanced mix within the partnership in order to get the full benefit. Once Hinkley has landed and visible progress has been made on Wilfer and Moorside and the others, I think lots more suppliers will perk up because they can see the certainty. You're never going to really realise the full potential of the, the SMEs within the supply chain unless you do give them some hard cash support. They can't go from where they are today to be, to be effective without some sort of government support and government investment. Why aren't we doing more to get out there and convince? It's no good as all retiring back to our little cupboards and offices and wishing that government would do something about it. You know, get out there and help. I want to assure you that I personally aim to see the UK nuclear industry flourish as a global leader.